How to lose belly fat quickly. Diet, workout, supplementation, drugs, interventions, everything you need to know. Let's talk about some strategies you can use to speed up this process. So, I'd like to start this video by getting this into your head. Fast and slow, it depends on your perception of time in the world. So, losing weight quickly doesn't mean you lose it in a week. We're going to discuss the strategies we can use to lose it as quickly as possible. Right, let's start with the diet part. To lose fat, there's there's no way around it, we need a calorie deficit diet. What does this mean? Eating fewer calories than what you burn. I'm going to introduce the flexible dieting method that we can use. How do we start a cutting phase? 2 grams of protein per kilogram, 2 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram, and 1 gram of fat per kilogram. This is a well-accepted cutting approach for most people. Remember that this is a generic recommendation, and it may create a significant deficit for you at the beginning or maybe not, but it's an initial methodology that we can set as a standard. We must not forget that our body adapts to our metabolism. And why is that? Because we are essentially moving towards death. What do I mean by that? When we consume fewer calories than we burn, we are moving towards death. If we continue like this, we will die because we will deplete all our reserves. Our body doesn't want us to die, so what will it do? It will reduce your metabolism. So, what do you do in this case? You implement a weekly carbohydrate withdrawal. So, I'll reduce about 0.1 to 0.2 grams of carbohydrates per kilogram per week. This continues until we reach the limit of 30 grams per day. We maintain these 30 grams as a fixed amount, and then we can gradually reduce fats. So, reducing about 0.1 gram of fat per kilogram per week may reach a point where we plateau. Now, on to the training part. I'll come back to the diet, okay. But Regarding training, doing millions of crunches won't help. Doing those torso twists won't help either. So, you might ask, but I feel my abs burning, and that surely indicates fat burning. No, no, no. What you're actually feeling is an accumulation of lactic acid, which occurs when glucose breaks down without oxygen. This happens with any high repetition, primarily in any muscle group. So, doing a lot of ab exercises doesn't generate localized fat burning. However, it's still interesting to do abdominal exercises. Why? Because the percentage of fat is based on the total amount of mass. So, if I have more muscle mass, even with more fat, my percentage is lower. Therefore, abdominal training is essential for hypertrophy. You want to hypertrophy your abs, so you should train them once or twice a week, although I prefer twice a week, with more volume and intensity. Right, about 8 to 12 sets in each of these workouts. Stimulate all three parts, upper, lower, and obliques. Repetitions for hypertrophy, then about 8 to 15 movements, and we can apply some advanced techniques German volume training, GVD, rest and pause, negative repetitions, forced repetitions. Regarding cardio, it's very welcome, and you can do any type of cardio, be it elliptical, treadmill, stationary bike. There's no better cardio for losing belly fat, because you'll lose fat overall, but I'll explain a strategy you can use to target specific areas. But you will lose fat overall, so cardio is welcome. Starting with a workload of around 120 to 180 minutes per week is appropriate. And this can be progressive based on the plateau in weight loss. This cardio can be high at, post-workout, or fasted. Now, on to supplementation. Here we have an intervention that's interesting. It's called Yohimbean. Yohimbean is a thermogenic, but not not just any thermogenic like caffeine. It helps target the areas where you have difficulty losing fat, such as the abdomen. So, you'll use it with a difference compared to other thermogenics which is using it while fasting. So, remember when I said I'd get back to the diet. We haven't finished talking about training. I'll use it, and I can combine it with an intermittent fasting diet. I can do fasted cardio, and that's when you get the maximum effectiveness from Yohimbean. It won't work the same way if you take it before a meal, for example. So, I'll follow an intermittent fasting diet 16 by 8. And here's where we start to accelerate belly fat loss. Remember what I said at the beginning 
of the video, fast, as fast as possible, with intermittent fasting, yohimbine, and fasted cardio. You might ask, are other thermogenics welcome? They are welcome. So, you can use another thermogenic, specifically, caffeine, from any brand you like because I'm always very honest and straightforward. Caffeine is all the same. Any caffeine is the same as long as it's not adulterated. Why pay more for it? Good, and I guarantee quality. A thermogenic or caffeine used before a weightlifting workout is very welcome. Can I take Yohim Bean without doing fasted cardio? Just fasting? Yes, you can, no problem. But doing fasted cardio gives you more potency and more benefit from the substance. Other supplements I've talked about in another video supplements for fat loss. You can add L-carnitine, which has a small effect, but since we're aiming for the maximum, we can include it. Other supplements like multivitamins, omega-3, are good but more for improving your overall health and organ function rather than strictly fat burning. And it would be great if you hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it because honestly, that's the biggest motivation for video creators. So, it doesn't cost you anything and it makes us happy. So please do it if this video is adding value to you in any way. Now, let's talk about fat burning drugs. Clenbuterol, Ephedrine, T3D4. These drugs will indeed accelerate the fat burning process overall. So don't think you'll lose belly fat faster because of the substance. You'll lose fat faster. If you do the work properly, you'll have abdominal definition sooner, right? For those who aren't pursuing a professional career, I personally don't think it's a good option. I find it quite aggressive, but anyway, let's implement intermittent fasting, training, abdominal training for hypertrophy. Cardio, you can do fasted cardio if you combine it with yohimbine, which is very welcome here. It's a key point in losing belly fat faster. You can add other drugs or supplements for performance enhancement, but the basics for losing belly fat faster are as I've mentioned so far. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fitness-minded friends. And of course, subscribe for more valuable content from Garlic Brother. Stay healthy, stay happy.